Hi, I'm Tyler, and welcome to a tour of Honk 0.1, the initial release version. I'm going to show you how to make a character in Honk very quickly. To get started, I want to launch Honk. You can see we have Honk EXE here. This is a tool that we'll be using to not only animate our character, but also to be able to edit them and move around parts and layers and change how everything is set up in it. Since we're going to be starting a new character, I'm going to start by going to the Characters folder. You'll see here that we have the Grombit folder. That's this character that you're seeing on screen now. We're going to be making a new one, though. The easiest way to do this is to run this little script that I included called Create New Character. You do that a little double click, you'll see New Character 2. This is a new folder that comes preloaded with the JSON file and the images folder that you'll need. I'm going to take all of our little character sprites that we have here for our character and put them in. I'm just going to copy these in and paste them into the images folder. Now they're on in here, and you're ready to use. <clears throat> Up and back in the characters folder, you can rename this to be whatever you want. In this case, I'm going to name it to honk. We go back and launch honk.exe. We back in editor. I'm going to click a little character button in the top left. Let me make this a little bit larger for y'all. I can click the honk character. Now it's appeared. Now you'll notice it starts empty because we haven't made anything yet. Based on the way that I've set up these assets, I'm only going to need to create one layer. I've got a lot of options here. I'm going to choose silent, S-I-L. Ooh boy, he's big. Zoom out. How happy he is. This is our main layer, and for the way that we're doing this character, this is going to be the only layer that we're going to need. Um, if you want to set up a more complicated character, I recommend looking at the Grombit example. That'll show you how to set up a slightly more complicated, complicated character like you're seeing in the bottom right. Anyways, if I click on this layer, we have quite a few options here. The option that we really care the most about is going to be this little speech bubble. Click on that and it gives us a list of options for all the different sounds that our mic can detect. I actually didn't make an image for every single one of these. I really only did about half of them, which is what I usually do. And so I'm just kind of going to approximate and guess most of these. So, ooh, that looks like uh, this guy here, speech bubble. O, oh, that looks like the O sound here. I sound, sometimes I have to make this, make the sound and then think of this shape that my mouth makes. E, I, a little bit larger. We'll try maybe this guy here. That's a good starting point. So if I click out of the window now, so anytime you just you click outside of the window, it'll start animating. Don't forget to press Control S to save. So just hold down the Control button and press S, and it'll save your character. Um, so this is a really good starting point. So you can see if I make noises like ah, it'll favor the ah mouth. If I go ooh, it'll favor the ooh just a shaped mouth. Um, and you just want to play with these shapes and these layers that you have. I have a few little pieces of um, juice, we'll call it, that you can add. In this case, I'm going to make my character bounce a little bit. So if I lever this up here, whenever I click out, you'll see that my character bounces a little bit while they talk, which is pretty cute. Another thing I could do is click the little rotation layer here. I'm going to set it to low. And you'll see once you have the rotation on, so anything that's not none, this little pivot point shows up. I'm going to move that to be right around where its mouth set. Um, and now it'll also kind of tilt a little bit. It'll sort of bounce all around and rotate a little bit while I'm talking. Give him a little really, really energetic looking sh movement. Um, you can get a lot better behavior out of the mouth by just tweaking with the different sounds that are in here. Depending on your accent, you might want to tweak the different mouth shapes that are in here because it might detect different sounds for you. Um, if your mic's a little quiet, you can change it here. If you need to choose a different input, you can choose different mic inputs over here. Um, yeah, that's really it. It's a really simple system. If you ever have questions, if you click the little question mark here, it'll bring up the documentation. Um, I'm still filling this out right now, but there'll be plenty of documents on how to set up and where all the different functions are and how to do everything. If you have any questions, you can ask me on the itch um, page in the threads, and I'll do my best to help anyone out. I'm planning on adding a lot of features to this, so look forward to even more. At the moment, one of the big things I'm proud of is that it is pixel perfect. So if you choose, if you use pixel art, um, it will, it should keep your sprites pixel perfect. Um, so just play with the zoom here, and it should keep everything snapping to the pixel grid. 
you have any problems, feel free to ask me again, like I said on itch. Good luck, Godspeed, and show me your characters. I want to see what you make.